how do you think the Lions respond to, I mean, I, I get that he's fiery, but he backs it up every single week too. Oh, there's no question. I mean, he's authentic. He is who he is. And I will tell you this, you know, he, uh, he's like our own Gronkowski, you know, our own, <laughs> own Rob Gronkowski. He plays the role of meathead well. But he's an intelligent dude, right? He's a really smart guy. And he's a really intelligent football guy. And he just understands, like, that's who he is, man. He was a grunt laborer. He understands that. He understands the importance of that. And um, and he plays into it. He leans into who he is. And one thing I've always said about NFL coaches, like, you can be quirky. Like, look at the difference between Mike McDaniels and look at the at McDaniel and, and look at the difference between, you know, Dan Campbell. Like they couldn't be more polar opposite, but the bottom line is they're both authentic. And as long as you're authentic and you're real and you're relational, your players will respond to you. And that's, you know, that's, I always say this and it doesn't matter what business you're in, whether you're in the podcasting business, the television business, whether you're in the radio business, the football business, if you're not in the relationship business and all those things, you're going out of business. And um, and we see it all the time. You know, we see it with coaches that get fired. We see it with guys that just don't relate well or are not authentic. You know, they, they try to be somebody they're not once they get that opportunity to be a head coach. And that's one thing I really respect about Dan and his coaching staff, man. They're 100 percent real. Um, you know, it, there's no sugarcoating it. This is the way it is. And um, I really respect that about Dan Campbell and, and what he's built in Detroit. You walk into that building. There's some buildings you walk into and you just feel like oh, I'm walking on eggshells or, you know, you can't Man, you walk into that building and that building is I mean, everybody is just on point, having a good time. But, you know, it's all business, but they're having a good time there. Like they like they like being in that building from front office people to the coaches, to the players, to the equipment guys. They like being in the building. And that's a direct reflection on their head coach. As a player and a broadcaster, you've been around the league for a long time. How, how rare is it to be, especially all due respect to the lions in a place like Detroit, where wins have been hard to come by prior to this, how uh, hard is it to create a culture like that? Especially like you said, one that seems to be so authentic. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's the most difficult thing you do as a coach is to create the culture of your football team, um, the culture of your organization. And you know, it's easy to preach things, um, you know, and say, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to be. This is the way things are, are, are going to go. And then, you know, you present it once and then you never talk about it again and, and you never lean on it again. And you acquiesce when things are hard and you do things easy, the easy way out. And, and like that builds a culture of what do I have to do to get a C? You know, I mean. To me, it's about living it every day. Culture is not static. It's alive. And you got to live it every day. You got to preach it every day. You got to model it every single day. And if you don't, the players don't buy into it. And so I think that's I think that's really the big thing. And even when last year, you know, they started off one and six or whatever it was, and then, you know, one um, eight of the last 10, or I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was something of that nature. Even when you went in there at the beginning of the season, and I did their first game of the season last year, um, you could tell it was different, man. You could tell the players bought into what Dan Campbell was selling. 